Hello, it's the Underdog here, and today I want to talk about YouTube's hypocritical censorship. <laughs> Elementary YouTube setting the finest sample ever by censoring any content that involves, wait, what? Tragedies and war? And disasters and controversial subjects? Wait a minute, YouTube. This makes no sense. Aren't you a hypocrite? For those of you who aren't in the know, presently YouTuber has a new system called Advertiser Friendly, where videos that are quote-unquote advertiser unfriendly get demonetized. And it's hit major YouTubers like Mr. Repsion and Philip DeFranco, who have both reported such issues with their own videos. In the case of Philip DeFranco, he reports the news, and of course with Mr. Repsion, he tries to bring awareness to social causes, as well as bring them to light and further justice. And now YouTube has turned around and demonetized these videos by force, which, as Philip DeFranco says, is essentially a form of censorship as you'll see in the quoted video here. By taking away monetization, it is a form of censorship. Taking away the ability to monetize a video where you're saying things that they don't deem okay. That's been described as censorship with a different name because if you do this on the regular and you have no advertising, it's not sustainable. It seems that by covering the real raw news story and not like watering it down, I got in trouble. That now, Mr. Repsizon complains because 50 of his videos have been at least demonetized. But a bunch of my videos have been demonetized. These are a list of almost the, almost all the videos, and I actually got a second email this morning, uh, very similar to this, of a bunch of newer videos that I've made that have also been quote unquote demonetized because it's not not because it's not quote unquote advertiser friendly which of course discourages him from making content that covers controversial subjects such as war, tragedies, natural disasters. And as Philip DeFranco points out, this discourages the uh, ability for them to bring awareness and fundraising to such disastrous events. But for me, YouTube are wrong for a different reason, and that is because they are a bunch of total hypocrites. If you look at this article here, which was reported by Wired, it says Google new YouTube analysis app crowdsources war reporting. And this was only back a couple of months earlier in this year. So clearly Google has no issues with reporting on war sources. And this seems to be more an attack on the ability for other people to report things that perhaps Google and perhaps even the US government don't want getting out. Because if I point over to this Washington Examiner post, which you can see here, it says Clinton email reveals Google sought overthrow of Syria's Assad. So when it comes to war, Google is perfectly content with getting its hands dirty. And from this article, I quote the next section, which clearly says, Please keep close hold, but my team is planning to launch a tool that will publicly track and map the defections in Syria and which parts of the government they are coming from. Jared Cohen, the head of what was then the company's Google Ideas division, wrote in a July 2012 email to several top Clinton officials. Now, it strikes me that Google demonetizing YouTubers for reporting on wars, natural disasters and tragedies is pot called in kettle black. And in this case, they are very much a bunch of hypocrites because clearly they don't mind funding war or getting involved. In fact, if you look at this other article, you can clearly see that the Google company, the head of YouTube, had the parent company, you would say, has gotten into bed with the Department of Defense. So it's curious that they, of all people, would be so adverse to the reporting of war. And this makes their censorship of YouTubers for reporting on war hypocritical. But this is dumb for a completely other reason as well. By killing off the freedom of speech in content, they are essentially killing off the advertiser stream anyway. Because a large selection of YouTube videos contain cussing, war, tragedy, disasters, and reporting in general on things that happen to people individually. YouTube has become a site where people can report their own personal problems for the rest of the world to see. 
And by encapping that, YouTube are essentially encapping their own revenue stream. It's kind of mind-boggling that a company with so much leverage would actually give in to the advertisers, given that Google and YouTube control the number of views per video. They could essentially turn around to the advertisers and say, well, you can either accept what our YouTubers say and still advertise on this site, or you can lump it and go without the millions and billions of views of which we garner. Now, it strikes me that YouTube have perhaps done this as a Trojan horse towards implementing both the US government and the European Union's um, censorship division, shall we say, which is against um, hate speech and uh, speech that incites violence. And this is sort of like the uh, watershed moment that we all have to fight against. Because the inability for people to speak their views is the inability for someone to be able to correct them. A person could be readily wrong, but if they cannot speak out their views, there is no way for anyone to know what they are thinking, and therefore we cannot correct them if they are wrong. The reason that political correctness is unacceptable in this day and age is because information is fast-reaching and you can't censor everything. People will talk to other people, communication is ever more dynamic, and it's kind of like setting up a gate to stop a tidal wave. It's not going to work, and we need to be able to address people freely with our own aired opinions. So not only are YouTube hypocrites in this sense, but they are clearly suicidal hypocrites that are trying to destroy their own revenue model, which has been so successful up until this point in time. They literally were built on the backs of other YouTubers posting what they call is controversial and sensitive subjects, responses kind of like this one, which you could argue are controversial. YouTube is designed as an interactive medium. It is not of the old world where it's media of TV and radios where people can have to listen and cannot reply. YouTube has comment sections. YouTube has the ability to make videos in response to other videos. This will not go away in the modern era, and the ever-growing and increasing urge for governments and corporations to try and censor down and clamp down on this is completely and utterly wrong. Our speech fundamentally should be the first freedom that we should have regardless of which country it doesn't matter if it's enshrined in a piece of paper called constitution or not we should have the freedom to speak out because the freedom to speak out is the freedom that stopped the nazis it's the kind of freedom that allows us to say you know what this company this company and this government are evil it allows us to bring to attention corruption and YouTube wants to stifle that because it's not advertiser-friendly. I ask you, YouTube, which one are you going to put first? Profits or the human race? <laughs>